Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys. Um, it's time for another story time. Woo! You guys love these. Y'all think they're hilarious. Or at least that's what I'm hearing from you guys. I get more likes on these videos than my Clash videos, which is awesome. So if you guys do enjoy, just continue to hit that like button. It's so it's just refreshing to see that you guys uh, like me for stuff other than Clash. I don't know. Sometimes that's, that's an insecurity that I have. I'm like, well, what if Clash was gone? Would they still like me? But uh, these videos are doing really, really well. Some of them have like over 60,000 views, which is so crazy. But today, um, a lot of y'all said y'all wanted to hear more stories from college. So today I'm going to tell y'all a funny story from college um, that has to deal with Coach Spurrier. So the coach of the... Uh, University of South Carolina Gamecock. So if you guys didn't know, I went to the University of South Carolina. Um, I was a Gamecock. I loved it. Uh, the football team when I was there was awesome. Marcus Lattimore was there. Uh, Jadavian Clowney was there. I was there when Eric Norwood was there. A whole bunch of players that were um, really, really good. So uh, I was there during that time, and I actually worked for the athletics department. So I was in the media relations department, and I did a bunch of design stuff for them. That's kind of where my whole design career, if you will, started was making athletic stuff, like sports designs, um, all that kind of stuff. I got to interview the players. I got to talk to all the coaches after the games. I got to interview people, um, talk to Tim Tebow and other players like that when they were still in college. It was really, really cool. I loved it. Um, but it, was, it wasn't always football stuff. It was golf. It was women's tennis, volleyball, basketball, all these different things. And so I always worked at these sporting events. It was my job. So I got paid for it. My job was working in the athletics department. Now, here's a funny story about Coach Spurrier. So Coach Spurrier, if you don't know, loves to golf. He likes to play golf. Um, and I was working a golf tournament at the time. And me and my buddy, Brian, uh, were hanging out. We were just working. And our boss, his name was Steve, he came over and he was talking to us. And so we're like, all right, Steve, we'll see you later. And so we're just hanging out again. And then a couple minutes later, Coach Spurrier walks up behind us at the golf tournament. We didn't know that he was going to be there. And he was like, how you boys doing? And I was like, oh, hey, what's up, Steve? <laughs> And I don't know if y'all find that weird, but I called him Steve because I was so used I was used to just talking to my boss. Um, and so I called him Steve and I was like, oh crap. Like I don't I've never met him before. Why'd I just call him Steve? So either I think I should have called him Coach or I should have been like, hey Coach Spurrier or Mr. Spurrier. He probably wouldn't like that, or just coach, whatever it was. And so the whole time that he was talking to us, I was like, I can't believe that I just called him Steve as if we were like best friends. <laughs> so um, he ends up talking to us for a little bit just about golf and how we're working. He's like, all right, I'll see you boys later. And he leaves. And then my buddy like hits me. And he's like, dude, Steve? And I was like, I know. I don't know why I called him Steve. I don't know why that was what I did. <laughs> I wish that I called him coach. It was just ridiculous. I was, I was embarrassed even though I probably shouldn't have been. But it was funny. Uh, working in the athletics department was a lot of fun, like I was saying, and that was just one of the funny stories. <laughs> Another funny story with Coach Spurrier. One time I was up in the press box getting ready for the game to start, so before anybody was in there at like 11 o'clock when the games were always a lot later, and I looked down on the field, and I'm like, what is, what is that going on down there? And I looked down there, and Coach Spurrier, now I don't know how old he is. I feel like he's in his late 50s. Uh, Maybe early, I don't know, he's old. Uh, I was looking down on the field, I was like, who, who is that? And it was Coach Spurrier in some khaki shorts, like chubbies. You know, those are like the really short ones. And that was all. <laughs> he didn't have a shirt on. He didn't have, he might have had his visor on that he always wears. He didn't have shoes or socks or anything. And he was on his phone just walking around the middle of the stadium on the on the football field. And it was just it was funny. It was funny to see that because I was like, okay, respect. I see you just hanging out, walking around by yourself. So uh, those are just two funny stories, guys, from when I worked in the athletics department at the university in the, at the University of South Carolina. I know some of you guys are Clemson fans. Some of you guys are probably Auburn fans, Georgia, all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's cool. I've never really had, like, I have a friendly rivalry with Clemson people. Um, the leader that I lead Young Life with, Sean, y'all have heard about him a bunch. Uh, he went to Clemson, and we joke around a bunch. I've never really been like a strict rivalry person, but if you guys are, uh, if you guys have family members that have gone to SEC schools, 
or you have gone to an SEC school, comment down below. Let me know where y'all went, uh, and we'll have a little fun time with some a uh, little rivalry banter in the comment section. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. If y'all enjoy these story times, comment down below. Let me uh, what kind of stories you want to hear. Let me know what kind of stories you want to hear, and I'll uh, go ahead and do those, and we'll just have fun doing these vlogs. They are a lot of fun for me. But thank you so much for watching, guys. really do appreciate it. You guys rock. As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.